guys and welcome back to Jules Guinea Pig Palace. We're here to talk about today the topic of food and the best diet for your guinea pig and what they need. So today I have Puff here. She is a surrender that I recently got. She is probably my newest favorite guinea pig even though they all are my favorite and it's hard to <laughs> separate from them but she is awesome. She's super sweet. Um, the owner did have problems with her mom uh, who ended up passing away due to eating a plastic bowl, which is another good thing to know about eating uh, with their needs and their pellets at least. Uh, you should always make sure you supervise if they are chewing on their bowl and make sure you get a glass bowl instead or a higher bowl. Usually that can help too. But today we are going to talk about their dietary needs. One thing about guinea pigs you need to know is they're very similar to anything like rabbits or even tortoises where their main diet is either, ha is either hay or grass. So with hay or grass it should be 80% of their diet should be grass and or hay. Hay is the main thing that you want to give them. Grass is more of like a treat. Um, I do pick fresh grass for them at least every other day and fresh dandelions because they do love them and enjoy them. It is one of their favorite snacks and they are a little bit sm spoiled in my household. <laughs> um, with this, um, hay should be 80% of their diet due to it is a high in fiber. They need a high fiber diet because of the way they work. They do a lot of running around. They do a lot of more of like doing body fat so they don't hold as much body fat so they need more fiber in their diet um also uh with hay it's beneficial for their teeth um not a lot of people know if you of course you have to give them wood chews or toilet paper tubes or stuff like that in order for them to chew on but hay actually helps shorten their teeth and make it easier for you to make sure they don't have a really high expensive vet bill because if it happens where their teeth do grow out you will have to start getting their teeth clipped when all you needed to do was give them uh, hay every day I always try to do twice a day um, you want to make sure you give them an unlimited supply of hay and I I kind of boycotted hay racks because <laughs> The guinea pigs can get trapped in there. They would, won't eat as much hay because they can't get to the hay as much. So I've recently just either been doing either litter pans, like cat litter pans that are brand new of course, or uh, small Tupperware tubs that they can jump in and out of, or I just bring, uh, build a kitchen area in their CNC cages on the ones that I currently do have CNC cages with based on other dietary needs that they need they actually need vitamin c in their diet they are the only mammal that actually or the only small animal that needs vitamin c um, their body does not create vitamin c they are very similar to humans in that nature so what you have to do is you have to feed them things like uh, kale is really good. I feed them kale once a week. Of course, you only want to give a roughly about a fourth of a cup to each pig, so you want to portion it out because, of course, you can give them too much vitamin C and it can make them sick. Um, based on other vegetables they can have, they can actually have carrots, um, they can have oranges and mangoes, but those are more of a treat because they do have a lot of sugar intake in them. So that is something that you do not want to give them a lot of, but you do want to make sure they do get that vitamin C. Other thing with it is another good way to get vitamin C's is this Oasis vitamin drops. You put a certain amount of drops in based on reading the instructions and what you have for what size water bottle you have. Um, also a good option is this one again is something that you want to limit but these are actual uh, it says cookies with cranberries my guinea pigs currently are enjoying these ones these ones were donated to me from a surrender so I'm just using them because I have them and it's always good to give them a treat especially if they are greeting me and they're being friendly versus running away it's good to train them because they are very trainable so with this it gives them that vitamin C but of course it's going to be high in uh, sugar 
intake. Um, I have a watermelon here because it is summertime. It is not beneficial to anything besides giving them water, which is water should be changed out, of course, daily. I change it out at least once a day, maybe twice a day, depending on what size cage they're in and also how many are in each cage. Like currently, I have 15 girls living in a large CNC cage. They have three 30 ounce water bottles, and I change it at least twice a day for them to make sure that they have enough water for everyone but I also make sure they get things like watermelon or cucumber or anything around that nature especially in the summertime and also provide them with ice packs another thing is what people think when you get them from a pet store or if you get them someone on Craigslist if you get them from someone even now on Facebook messenger or Facebook selling um, is people think that they can feed just pellets to their guinea pigs guinea pigs should not have just pellets pellets are actually very bad for guinea pigs especially if it they don't if they have alfalfa in them they should not have alfalfa they should only have Timothy hay or orchard grass hay um, alfalfa is only good for if it's a pregnant mom or a guinea pig under four months. So that is something that a lot of people get wrong because it is really fatty. Um, but based on the pellets, you only want to give them a fourth of a cup of pellets. Some people say every week or at once a week. I at least try to do it daily because I do have multiple guinea pigs to a cage. So that is something that you do want to have. Um, also, with the guinea pigs, you want to make sure they are properly eating their hay. Um, I have had a lot of rescues where they didn't give hay to them and they did not know what hay was, so I had to restrict how much uh, pellets I was giving them before they would get pellets again due to I wanted to make sure they had enough hay because that is supposed to be 80% of their diet. Also, with it, Pellets should not have the alfalfa, like I said before. Oh, yes, and you love kale. Um, but with it itself, they should have more of a vitamin C and a high fiber. And that is the reason why you should give it to guinea pigs. It's not beneficial in any way besides of it having fiber and vitamin C. And with it, <laughs> you're just so cute. Um, you should always make sure that you read all the ingredients in your pellet food before buying it for your guinea pig. Yeah, there are cheaper brands, but usually those are the brands that put in like corn filler or alfalfa, which again are very bad for your guinea pigs. Um, as of today, that is it for this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching us. Again, me and Puff really enjoy making these videos for you guys to see what we do in this rescue and learn more about our guinea pig friends. Um, please tune in next time. Uh, like us on Facebook. We are on Facebook. Jules Guinea, well, Facebook.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. We also do have a Patreon account which is uh, patreon.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. I put in there the price of everything of what it would cost me if you guys did want to help donate to the guinea pigs or even the small animals that we do have. Um, so any little bit counts. Everything does count. Uh, we really do appreciate everything that you guys do. Or even following us and subscribing to us is always amazing. Thank you so much, guys. You have a great one.